you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel this is the place where you can learn microsoft intune this is microsoft intune in this video i'm going to share you important information so how you can create a naming policy for the groups right so <clears throat> you have to go to the intune console and go to the groups and you see the naming policy here so i'm talking about this one so this group naming policy which which actually allow us to add a specific prefix or suffix to the group name and alias for any microsoft uh, for any of any microsoft 365 group created by users right created by users just to make sure for example like if you want to add country department or anything if you want to add like prefix prefix means what it does mean it will add prior to the group name so i will show you if i click on add prefix okay add add prefix and string and if i put here in tune you'll see the changes here so it just added in tune group name suffixes it will be later so if i add string and i will put mdm you see here so like this one so in tune is a prefix i mean pre-added and suffix is added later so if you want to something like add i don't want to add suffix just want to add in tune so so that i can identify if any groups are being created in m365 or intra id it's part of the intra id i mean which is called previously called as azure id so i want to see the group name with the in tune so just save it this is how you can create a, a group naming policy and you can enforce a naming policy on microsoft 365 group in intra id this is actually very good and once you add define the prefix or suffix that has been added automatically to enforce a naming conventions to a group for example in the group name like grp group if you are creating japan like it will be added prefix right grp so similar like and you can also block the custom word uh like ceo payroll hr so that they cannot add so so that they cannot add these groups with the with these words right which is actually important for if you want you can block it for that you have to download the csv file and put the word and upload the csv file this is very easy so once you upload the uh, the csv file which you want to block the word which uh, so that the you uh, so that users cannot create those uh, words in their groups and which will actually reserve for the name right so i hope you learn if you want to learn more of course you can just click on this and you see uh, how you can create and what is the use of this group naming policy till then thank you have a good day bye bye take care